everybody, how's it going? Mr. Beatles Pro here. Hope everyone's doing well. This is my Fest for Beatles fans wrap-up video. The Fest, as you know, was the weekend of the 12th, 13th. Um, my brother and I went Friday and Saturday. We never, we don't do all three days. We never have. I think we did, in all the years, we went maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday once. Or Saturday, Sunday, you know, that combination. But that's for a different video. Uh, my take on the fest. The bottom line with the fest nowadays is, it's, in my opinion, it's what you make of it. You know, um, crowd-wise, as far as I was, I was concerned, it wasn't a whole lot of people. But fun-wise... Yeah, we still had a blast. We, you know, like I said, it's what you make of it. You know, we got there early Friday because uh, we stayed Friday and Saturday night, so we didn't have to drive. And we just sat out in the parking lot and tailgated until we went in to check in and so forth and so on. So, you know, the fest came around. It started at 5 o'clock on Friday. And first place we went was the marketplace and I'm not talking Lapidos's fest store um just where all the vendors are in the marketplace and lo and behold it was what we make you know thought of it there out of out of the tables that were in there more than half of them were authors you know Ray Zirkel was there Terry Crane and you know so forth and so on Kiddo Tool <clears throat> um one of our main vendors through the years was a gentleman named Marty Eck. And unfortunately, Marty passed away last September. And we were pleasantly surprised because he had a couple of, of people working with him the last few years. Well, more than a few years. But those guys were there again. And we've dealt with them so much they know who we are. So we walked up and we were talking to him and it turns out that Marty's son decided to have them disperse Marty's collection. And um, that's for, for another video too, the purging video. But they had a lot of really cool stuff there, I have to admit. And for my brother and I to get something from Marty's collection, that just kind of, you know, made it for us. You know what I mean? So we did get a few things there, and um, there was another dealer there. And I'm not going to say who it was, but he had some items there that we know for a fact were on eBay. And, of course, eBay prices right now are insane. And we follow a lot of certain dealers on eBay, and this gentleman is one of the guys that we do you know, follow. And some of the stuff he had... He actually marked up at the fest, and we questioned him on it. We just asked him, "Hey, I thought that was you know a hundred bucks less on eBay." Well, no, that's a different one. Okay, whatever you say. Next day, later that day, I should say, miraculously, all his listings on eBay disappeared. Hmm, interesting. So we stayed away from that table. But for the most part, you know what, Friday we did that. We went over to the Memorabilia Museum because Jeff Augsburger, who, who that's his collection, is uh, another, you know, person that we've dealt with for years. Um, I was able to get something out of there, you know, because he, he has a seller's table and so forth and so on. So, you know what, Friday flew by. We didn't do anything else other than... We went to the, um, where the autograph, the, you know, the people autograph stuff. And we got that out of the way on Friday because we didn't want to deal with it. We didn't know what the crowd was going to be like Saturday. So all in all, you know, we decided it's not worth going Friday anymore. You know, we used to go Friday so we'd get first pick of stuff, you know, at the flea market. But it's just not worth it anymore. So I think this was the last year we're going to do Friday. So we move on to Saturday expecting a bigger crowd. And honestly, if it was, it wasn't much. Um, there were some things that I wanted to do. I got to sit in on the Chris O'Dell um, discussion 
which I really wanted to see. And I did get to see Mark Lewis and stuff. Unfortunately, the other stuff we wanted to go to, like Name That Tune, um, Kit's Thing, Talk More Talk, Andy's Two Legs, all fell when, when other stuff was going on. So I kind of missed out on a lot of that stuff. So, all in all, you know, honestly, it was nice getting back after, what, three years and everything. Um, it was fun seeing some people that I haven't seen. I got to meet some new people because of this channel. Um, so, you know, all in all, I think it all worked out great. So I was mentioning Friday that we got our autographs. Uh, Greg Bissonette, who is the uh, drummer for Ringo Starr's All-Star Band, was there. So I had him autograph. I took the thing out, the inside of my... Ringo at the Ryman DVD, which, believe it or not, was never even opened until I had him sign it. I think the last four I bought weren't. And then the other thing I did get signed was Chris O'Dell's book. Um, I picked this up prior to the fest because I, I wanted her signature and absolutely loved her, um, her, uh, dissertation up there about because she was on the rooftop about the um how she ended up there on top you know up on the roof and the stuff leading up to it her insight was actually really cool and then the stuff I picked up wasn't a lot honestly because there really wasn't a lot there per se but I was able to pick up, I've never had one of these. But I and it's not in the greatest shape in the world. But I finally picked up a version one introduced in the Beatles with the Love Me Do and PS I Love You on it. I just I've never had one of these. The prices were nuts. Ninety percent of them are counterfeit. You know, I haven't even cleaned this thing. But I found this in a room where a guy has um, records from all over the world on display. And he has one little box of records in there for sale. And I came across this on Saturday night. So I picked it up. Glad to have it, you know. Uh, next thing I picked up, I picked up from uh, Jeff at the Beatles Museum. I've been eyeing this because I have the two plates for this, which are somewhere up there. But they were actually up there. But I did pick up the Washington Pottery mug from Jeff. And, you know, there are a lot of fakes with these, but because of the dealer, you know, um, I know what I was getting. I was really happy to get this because I really wanted this piece. And he just happened to have one for sale. And then um, in the same room with all the albums and stuff, um, I picked this up. It came with the poster, but unfortunately... And I was packing up Sunday and getting shit situated in the car. I left the poster on top of the car and didn't realize it, so it's long gone. Uh, a couple more things I did get um, from the, as I call it, the Marty Eck Memorial Table, because they were selling off his collection. I did pick up these. Screenshot. Uh, original 60s pantyhose. And um, it was, I, I mean, it was just so cool that they had these because I already had this one and I have these two. So it's kind of, kind of neat, you know, the different packaging. So now I got, I got four different Four different sets of these which was cool 
And then the last thing from the fest that I picked up was, and I have a set of these, but I've never had them this way. Mint, still on card, the Beatles uh, swinger set. Made in Hong Kong, the whole ball of wax on the card. Got this from Mar from Marty's personal collection also. So another item I was happy to get. Very, very lean. Like I said, um, not a whole lot of dealers. So be it. Um, then that's probably it um, for the Fest wrap-up. We'll see what happens next year. You know, um, we're already, my brother and I are already talking because the dates for next year, I think, have been posted in the program. I just never even looked. According to this, August 11th through 13th, is next year's convention in Chicago and March 31st to April 2nd in Jersey City. So it looks like they're going to do it again next year. The other thing I wanted to point out real quick, the Mark Lapidos Fest Marketplace, that was another one, totally shrunk down, not a whole lot of, granted it's all new stuff, but it was really shocking how small it was. You know, and we also had an issue trying to find a couple of the rooms. I never did find them. You know, where they had like name that tune and stuff like that. We never did find them. Uh, we found a couple of discussion rooms, you know, that were empty. There was nothing going on at the time when we were looking, but yeah, I don't know. But that is my wrap up for the fest. I thank you for watching. And with that, peace out, everybody.